Hey guys, today I want to share with you my new exercise for the superior head of the lateral pterygoid muscle. Now, the lateral pterygoid, as we have spoken about before, it actually protracts the mandible, and this is a very, very important function when, when treating a temporomandibular joint dysfunction or disorder. However, what I have not been aware is how difficult it can actually be to target the superior head of the lateral pterygoid because of its oblique angulation, its fiber orientation. Now, the medial pterygoid actually has a very similar fiber orientation and it is much stronger and therefore it has a high likelihood of compensating for lateral pterygoid. And if you're treating tinnitus because the buccal and um, lingual nerve pass through these muscles, it can be difficult to have progress if you're not stimulating the muscle properly, of course. So let me show you how to do it. And the important thing here is that instead of closing the mouth, as we protract, because we want to protract the jaw uh, forward, of course, uh, and obliquely superiorly. However, we want to do it without closing the mouth, because if you close the mouth, that is the medial pterygoid. So let me come a little closer, and I will try to show it to you. It's a little complicated. Okay, so we want to protract the jaw while we also get oblique superior movement without closing the incisors, without closing the mouth. Now this can be a little difficult, so let me try to show you how to do it. So you maintain a slightly open mouth position while you protract uh, obliquely, like this. And you will see that it's quite tricky to do this actually. It's uh, quite difficult, at least for me it, it is. Now, when you get a little stronger, you can also load this movement by putting your hands not at the chin like I have said earlier, because that will stimulate the medial pterygoid to a greater degree. We want to put the, resistant, the resistance at the mandibular angle. So you will palpate the bone, the mandib mandibular bone, backwards until you get anterior to the masseter, and you lay there a slight resistance posterior and caudally, okay? So the opposite of what the superior head of the lateral pterygoid does. So I will just show you, it will be a little difficult I think to see it, but I'll put my hands here, mouth is open, my neck is not down here, I'm not clenching that super high like I've been talking about before. Long neck position and protraction in an oblique angle. Now, if I'm pushing hard with my mouth or with my mandible, then I will immediately engage all the other muscles. So that isn't the point here. The point is that you want to feel weak. It should be difficult. Okay? You want to disengage that medial pterygoid by not allowing the mouth to close. And we want to uh, make the movement s slightly uh, obliquely. Not straightforward because then we will get too much of the inferior head of the lateral pterygoid. And surely not obliquely, inferiorly, cowardly because of course, then we will completely get the inferior head of the lateral pterygoid. So, I hope this was informative. It's a, it's a cool exercise, I think. I've been trying to find a good exercise for the superior head for, superior head for quite some time. I've tried a few exercises, but it has not really felt optimal. I have had good results with this one, so I hope you will enjoy it also. And if you have any questions, please let me know.